The Belize City Traffic Department inspection boot just got an upgrade. Drivers used to have to visit this small wooden boot on Johnson Street to have their vehicles inspected before their license were approved for renewal. But after today, motorists will no longer be confined to this small congested area. The department's inspection boot has been relocated to the Marion Jones Sporting Complex. Moving to Marion Jones provides us, the upper, well not just us, but the residents of the city um, to come somewhere where it's sheltered um, prior to, to our move. The residents were exposed to all the elements of the weather out there. Um, when it was raining, people had to stay in their vehicles and wait. And when the sun is out, standing up in the line out there. So it's a more it's more convenient for residents to access the service here and in addition to that there's more space so it provides for better um, testing on the part of the inspection um, officers that, that do do the, um, the inspections out there. The Belize City Traffic Department is also taking a more progressive approach when it comes to their driver's license tests. Residents will no longer have to sit through a handwritten test before acquiring their driver's license. The test is no longer handwritten um, it is done digitally. You, when you go to the department, you, you are given a, a, a username and password. You log into the system and you, you sit and complete the, the um, test digitally. So there's a, there's a screen and you tap your answers um, and they, at the end of doing your test, it gives you a real-time grade. So you no longer have to wait um, at that, that couple of days before you can go back and see how you performed on, on the assessment. Simultaneously at today's event, Belize City Councilor responsible for traffic, Albert Vaughn, spoke about upgrades to the traffic department's building on Youth for the Future Drive. When I was appointed councilor, what I found out was um, that the place was a bit drab. This is where the, this is where the city, citizen come in and pay their taxes, pay for whatever service they need from the council. And I had believed that no, it should be better not only for our customers, but for people working there as well. If we demand from our officers out there to go out there and enforce and come in here and work, then the place should be properly, you know, suited. And so that's what we did. We did a renovation of the whole place where we painted it over. We got the air condition that was not working, working. We got the old files out of the building and into their proper places. And we enlightened people. That's what we did. And while these upgrades may provide better services to those who utilize them, residents are still left to endure long lines outside the traffic department. Digitizing these services may eliminate these long lines. Mayor Bernard Wagner agrees. Our um, uh, management information system and technology continue to, to work towards um, digitizing as much of our work as possible. Um, and clearly, the, 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 the facilitation process of application, we want to look at how we can digitize that. Um, our team continues, continuously to um, continue to work feverishly on that, and we feel that within the next year or two, we'll be able to um, bring all of those other services in a digitized fashion. So if you look at the building right now, we have, we have cemented the, the driveway. And so that would be our next step now, is to look at how we can get some covering so people don't have to be the sun. At, because of COVID, because of the protocol of COVID, everybody can fit in the building, so you have to work along with us until we get that. But that is coming. That is on the agenda. Reporting for News 5, I am Paul Lopez.